Hey guys, so today I have a Santa's Secret Sack Unsacking for you. It's like an indie kind of grab bag thing that um, Jen from Super Chick Lacquer kind of curates every year. Well, I think this is the second year that they've done it. So I've already opened everything, but everything comes in like this little a velvet sack and then you have um, between four and five products from indie sellers. Nine Zero was actually in the Santa's Secret Sack this year, so I was really excited about that. Um, Jen sent me one just to kind of unbox and show you guys what's in it, and she is doing a a giveaway on her channel so I will link that video down below and then all the rules and whatnot are in the description of her video so you can have a chance to enter to win this and then I think there are a few um, extras in there as well so that ends on the 23rd which is tomorrow so I'm kind of late getting this up my I opened my little sack already there was a lot of candy involved in mine but um it was on the computer desk and between me and my husband it has like slowly disappeared so this is all that's left <laughs> of what was in there there were a few pieces but this is like a I'm assuming minty like a lollipop and then there was also a little nail file from super chick lacquer so I'm gonna get into the products that were in there the first thing that I had in there was this cuticle oil from nail nation 3000 it's in a neat little flat bottle it is uh, warm vanilla but I haven't actually smelled it yet so let's see it smells really good and it's it's not grease. It's like bizarrely not greasy. That's actually incredible because my cuticle looks like on this finger compared to the other ones looks way way better. Uh, but it's soaked in really really fast. Like it like disappeared on me. That's really cool. Okay, I'm setting this aside because I've never you I've never used an oil that's soaked in like that. Just totally disappeared but still actually like moisturized my skin. That's amazing. That's like like kind of weirded me out a little bit. It soaked in so fast. So that was in mine. Um, like I said, it's totally random. I had two polishes in there that I did already have because I've already reviewed them um, for the brands. So I ended up, I de-stashed last week. I had like 400 polishes that I got rid of and I took a huge box of them to my family Christmas party because it was like huge extended family. And I only ended up having to take like 30 of them back home. So I'm going to take those 30 to um, my in-laws family Christmas party next weekend so hopefully I can get rid of them but I did put the extras in that box just because it was right in front of me and I was walking away with it in just a couple days anyway but Colors to Carol Vintage Lights was one that was in there that I did already have this is like a holographic silver micro glitter with rainbow glitters mixed in really really pretty um, you can use it as a topper or it's full coverage on its own the other one is from Super Chick Lacquer and this is Swan of Adorned Darkness this is um, like a textured polish, like a black textured with silver glitter, and it has the uh, half carat, yeah, half carat weight of genuine diamond crystals, which almost look like little, like, ground up pieces of glass. Really funny. So this was on the table at the family Christmas party. My grandma, I love my grandma, but she's always like, gimme, gimme, gimme. So I walked up and picked this one up to tell the girls. I was like, yeah, this one has like a half, you know, supposed to have like a half carat weight of diamond crystals in it. And my grandma, as soon as she heard diamond crystals, her head like snapped up. She took it right out of my hands and like put it in her purse. It was the funniest thing. So my grandma has this one now. She's going to enjoy that. Um, and I will link all the indie sellers down below as well. The other one that I have is from Sweetheart Polish, and this is called All That Glitters. This is kind of a nude with like a little bit of a silver shimmer to it and then a pink flash. It's a really, really pretty, really, really unique color. Um, I haven't swatched these two yet. I'm going to do that right as soon as I turn the camera off. Beautiful color. It looks like it might be a little bit sheer, but that's just my guess. I'll put an annotation or something if I'm wrong or right about this one. But yeah, that is in there. The other one is from Reverie Nail Lacquer, and I only have one other polish from Reverie. This is called Moon in Sagittarius. This is a blue jelly base um, with a bunch of like silver and blue and purple red, pink, um, a few different shades of blue glitters in there. There's like those medium sized circles, not the giant ones, but the ones that are a little bit smaller, little tiny stars, um, and then a lot of hexes. It's a really, really, really pretty polish. So this one I'm actually thinking I'm most excited about out of everything that was in the bag. Well, I don't know, because this ended up being really, really cool. So these two are my favorites out of the bag. So that is the Santa's secret sack for uh, this holiday season. Again, I will link Jen's video down below. She is doing a giveaway for a Santa's secret sack, and hers is kind of kept a mystery, so you don't really know what you're going to get in it. And then um, she's also going to have some, a couple extras in there as well. And I think the rules are just to comment on the video and subscribe to her channel, I think. So all the details will be in the description box of her video, and then I will link it as well so you guys can enter the giveaway. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.